Howdy y'all. I've been waiting for a nice cool morning to get started on this. And I know it's not been as hot here as it has been in half the country, but this is really nice this morning. And I wanna get this inside so I can get some of these sprockets popped off here. I think we're definitely gonna use these tracks and grousers. The pins on this set haven't been turned like the ones on 4G. So let's get started. That didn't take you long to get here. You must have heard me, seen the camera. Another thing we want to get off of here is this draw bar and swing plate. They're in really, really good condition compared to anything else that we have. Here's the pins on 4G's tracks, and they are really worn on the back side. I got a helper today. Get this over there and give it a quick bath. Got a lot of the big stuff off. I feel comfortable. I can get it in the shop. We can start taking things apart and get some of these sprockets off here. And I'm gonna push it with the skid steer and hopefully I push it and it doesn't push me. If all works well, should be able to sit right here where 4G used to be.
you were worried what I was yanking on, it's just the remnants of a dozer attachment that's been torched off and cut. It's actually no good anyway. So I would rather work in this cramped shop than out there in the sun where it's 102 degrees, especially after as many heat strokes as I've had. That should give me plenty of room to work in here. Now I just need to get it jacked up just like we had with 4G. One thing about it, we have a lot more room to work on this wide tractor than we did on 4G. And when I get it jacked up here, I'm going to pull this drawbar off of here because it's in a lot better shape than the one on 4G. And it has very, very little, if any, wear. At the very least, I remember how to do all this. So I got the center section jacked up. And it's good and stable. This is exactly like we did on 4G. And now I just need to get the track frames jacked up so that I can rotate the tracks and get the master links up to the front so I can get those punched out. I got lucky on this side because some of the rollers are already removed. So I can put blocks underneath here and block it up on the track frame itself. So now let's just get this track spun around and get the master link up front. We want the master link to end up about right there. That's the safest place the book says that you can hit on them. Right now it's right underneath there, right underneath my cribbing. So I need to get it up all the way around. I see threads in this side. They don't look in very good shape though. I'm using the same tool I made for 4G. And basically all it is is a bolt with the same threads, grade 8, as the pin inside the master link. And I welded it to a nut that's the same thread as my slide hammer. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay. Everything's good and tight. Now let's see what happens. We had to heat it last time. Right on, came right out of there. Let's do the other side. Okay, here goes. Cleaner's not here, I guess I gotta do it. It's sizzling. Let it cool. Heat. Works again. Let's punch the pin out. It's already started to come out with a real small hammer. Not terrible. Not as bad as the one on 4G, but not great. I'm gonna just uh, hook a chain on the back over here, hook it around the track, and let her off easy.
Talk about deja vu. I'm gonna get this out of here and uh, get it on a pallet. One of the neat things about working on these things, it's like archeology. span Like, you never know what you're gonna find. Damage, history, this has got all kinds of it. Over here, the main track frame, it's been gusseted because it had a repair. I noticed the inside of the main track frame's bent. You can see kind of how it bows out there a little bit. But the really neat thing that I found when I was out pressure washing it, I don't know if that's OD green or forest service green, but this final drive housing on the right side has been replaced. It looks like the green paint was on top of the yellow. Got the track outside on a pallet. I'm going to let this down and concentrate on the other side getting the track off. Looks like the master link on the right side of 7J is definitely welded in on both sides. And probably going to need the torch and a grinder to get that out of there. And we might need to get that link off of 4G to use over here. Before I go crazy on this master link with the torch, I'm going to hit it with the angle grinder and see if I can see how deep the weld is. Kind of see there, there's a little crack where the edge of the uh, master link, or I mean the master pin is and the master link. So I'm hoping I can grind this enough I can clean it up. We can maybe see what we have. Worst case scenario, I'll weld something in there and try to pull that out with the slide hammer. I'm, I'm guessing they welded it because it wasn't holding. Making some really good progress on here. You can see the plug in the center of the master pin and you can see the master pin and you can see the cracks. They didn't get good weld penetration on here so I might be able to even get my puller in there and pull that out once I get the rest of this weld ground off. Somebody really got mad at their master link walking out but I got it in shape. I'm gonna ground the other side off and see how I can uh, Maybe I can break this loose. This weld was super thick. So I got the cleaner's favorite tool out. And just kind of buzzed a little of that off. I'll grind the rest of it. It looks pretty good. I can see the outline of both the center pin and the master pin. What do you think, Inspector? Look good? Just chase this out with the tap. I got enough threads in there. I think I can get my puller started in that center pin. The other side I'm not going to have as much luck with. It's in pretty bad shape. In fact, it's completely welded shut. So my hope is to get this in here, maybe pull this out, and then punch it out that direction. If all else fails, I'll weld something in there and see if I can slide hammer that plug out. Sorry about the squeaky shop chair, folks. Here goes. Look at that. Welded in and everything, I still got it out. In fact, the pin started coming out this side. Which makes me really think that I can punch it out the other direction. Hopefully you can see that. It's getting dingy outside. Weather's kind of moving in. And of course our handy dandy punch. Hey, it's going! I thought I better put the clamp on here before I punch that pin all the way out. Well, there it is. 
that's the side, uh, well, both of them were welded. But this is the side where I can't get the plug out. They got it welded shut. I don't know if this is a factory master pin or something somebody made. I see they've tapered this in too quite a bit. I'm going to put this in here to keep it from coming apart. Even though our clamp's holding it, it'll give us a little extra security. We're going to pull the track off the right side. I think I'm just going to do like I did before and hook a bolt through one of these grousers and just pick it up with the backhoe and probably just carry it right outside. There I go. We're fine. You're fine. Cleaner is really tired of the clutter. I am. So he's he's in cleaning mode. It's not spring. You don't have to clean anything. That's yet. okay. <laughs> this thing kind of looks weird like this. Kind of reminds me of one of those characters of a muscle car with flames and zoomies and a monster driving it. That'd be kind of a cool picture. Look at the cleaner go. I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah, like about eight months. Yeah, at least. Hey, there's shelf space back there. Cool. And I got the bolts out of those caps for the pivot shaft. Take the pill blocks out. I got the crane holding it up, hopefully. And we'll let this down and get these track frames out of here. Rusty. As much grease as was around there, you wouldn't think it'd be that rusty. There's always one. You need a breaker bar? Yes. There it goes. Your machine might take it now. All right, here's the here's the last one. Let's see. Yeah, our crane's holding it. Let's let her down. Something's still hanging. No, go ahead. Go ahead. There oh, you there go. It goes. It's that, that chicken wing up there. It, oh, we got it hooked, it hooked pretty well. Yeah. See, it's going down pretty nice. I think it's down, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we're good. There you go. Rick
Diggity. Springs and oil pan we're gonna store outside give us a little bit more room in the shop this is looking really familiar let's get the other side off I'm gonna take the drawbar off of this donor especially the swing plate you can really see how much this swing plate has been eaten down as opposed to this one this one's in great shape you're just against a rock I think now you can let her down all the way all right Oh, this track frame's bent where this was hanging. Go let it down, I'll show you. I guess I can spin, go around the end here. Now go. Uh, that's why I like a clean floor. There. Now you can get it with the skitter. Go ahead a little more. That's good. Let her down. See, they welded the frame for this machine for the dozer onto the track frame, so that's why this couldn't come off so easily. And I noticed where this was sitting, it dented in here, where this was hanging out. This one's got some wear. This one's all right. That one's all right. There's a few good ones. All right, let's put it away. Bye-bye, track frame. Draw bar and swing bar, you're up next. Thought it was very interesting that not only does this final drive housing have OD green on it, so does this draw pin, and somebody even took the time to put some cat yellow on it. But also this swing plate, which we're pretty sure has been replaced because it's in amazing shape. Working on pulling these bolts out of here, these nuts off of here. Sometimes the stud comes out, sometimes it doesn't. But Dad noticed that this draw bar has quite a swale in it here. So it might be bent a little bit. But we'll get it off of here and we'll check it out. Those bolts were all a bear to get off of here. They were really stuck. All right, let me go man the other jack. How come I'm, it won't? Oh, because I'm not going down. Go down. Go ahead, down. Oh, something's holding me now. There's about a hundred pounds of dirt stuck on top of this thing. All right. Here couldn't be happier. Look what he gets to do. Well, it's in here and we're taking parts off. We like to get the clutch out of here so it's not sitting out in the weather. Thought I'd take this off here to see if that was anything in there usable for 4G and it appears that this one is, while better than the one on 4G, it's toast as well. Our curiosity has got the better of us so we've decided to have a look in this compartment and see what the steering clutches and brakes look like. What do we got? Definitely moisture in there. That might be from me pressure washing yesterday. Don't look as bad as 4G's. No, this looks way better than 4G. What kind of a lock do they have on there? No, that's a different uh, yeah, something a little different. setup for the adjustment. Interesting. It's move. different on the other side, though. Yeah. Oh, they got spring. They're working. Looks cleaner in there than 4G. Yeah. And they're working. They're tight. Yeah. Interesting. Well, 
Got spare parts. Definitely a lot better shape than 4G looked. 3B8232. Can you see the brake bands? Yeah. Are they working? Yeah, they're working. I know that it held us when we were loading it. How about this side? Yep. They're working. You know, the adjustment on the brakes and the clutches is about what they yeah, should be. Yeah, so. it's pretty good. All right. We know what we got. I took some multi-purpose spray lube and sprayed it in the bearings and in the cups in there. And we're going to go ahead and throw the cover on here. This will have to be covered up outside. We're going to put it back together. And there it is. 7J stripped for parts. We got a lot of good parts off of here. But we're going to stop short today. Because... In a future video, we're going to pop the sprockets off and the pillow blocks. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. They've definitely been flipped. And I just had a cat jump on my back. What are you doing? <laughs> you can't sit there, kitty. Hey, ouch! Oh, ow! <laughs> what are you doing? We're gonna use these parts for 4G. Finish up a little lefty. Yeah, all claws, put them away. No claws. No claws, kitty. <laughs>